Hello, I'm Single-Minded Ryan. Today, I want to show you a complete guide on how to set up the light in Godot for a 3D game. We are going to talk about how to set up a camera, how to set up the world environment with the skylight, and how to set up the main light. Then we'll do some color grading. By the end of this video, you understand how to make your game look good with a few simple steps. All right, let's create a new 3D scene and drag the assets into the scene. By the way, I'm using Godot 4.2, and everything I talk about in this video should still work in the later versions. First, there is a default light in the scene that casts a shadow, but we don't see the light in the hierarchy. Second, we can see the sky from the world environment and its ambient light affecting the scene but we also don't see the world environment node anywhere. In Godot, a new scene always comes with a main light and a world environment to provide a default lighting setup. This setup lights up the scene, but it doesn't make that game look good, and we don't get to change it. But we can override this default setup by adding our own world environment node a light node. Before we do anything with the light, let's enable anti-aliasing. To smooth the jacked edges, let's go to Product, Product Settings, Find Anti-Aliasing under Rendering, and enable FXAA and TAA. Now the game looks better because the staircase effect on the edges is gone. Next, let's add a camera. Let's move the camera to the front of the platform. Then enable preview so we can see through the camera. Let's change the camera's FOV to 28 degrees. And move it further from the platform so we can see everything. Then we rotate the camera a little bit, so we can see the ground of the platform better. Alright, now let's add a world environment node. You'll notice that the default world environment immediately disappears, and the ambient light from the sky also dims down. But the default main light is still there. So let's add a new directional light 3D node to override it. Now the scene is only affected by the light we just added. I want to focus on the world environment node for now. So let's set the energy of the directional light to zero. All right, now the game is only affected by the world environment node. Let's select it and add a new environment. For now, the game is affected by the ambient light and the ambient light is from the clear color of the background. Let's switch the background mode to sky. and add a physical sky material to the sky. The physical sky material draws the sky based on physical properties, so it can provide a realistic sky driven by a sun. Down here, you can see some properties, but right now, tweaking them won't have any effect, because there is no sun to drive this sky. All right, let's rename the directional light 3D node. And set a sky mode to sky only. 
meaning this light will not light the scene, but it can affect the sky. But when we increase its energy, nothing happens to the sky. This is because the light is pointing to the horizon, which means the sun is below the horizon. Let's add some rotation to it to mimic the sun in the sky. You'll notice that the shadow doesn't work for this light. Also, the color doesn't work as well. The only properties that affect the sky are the energy and the rotation of the light. Let's increase the energy to 20. Next, let's tweak some properties of the sky. For you to see the changes with clarity, I'll rotate the light a little bit more, so it seems like the sun is in the back of the scene. You can see the color and the brightness of the sky also change as I rotate the light. This means you can use the physical sky material to create a day cycle. All right, let's tweak the sky. We can decrease the Rayleigh coefficient to add more blue to the sky. This property controls the strength of the Rayleigh scattering, which is what causes the blue color in Earth's atmosphere in real life. Next, we can tweak the Rayleigh color to add more blue to the sky. We can also control the whitish color around the sun and the horizon by tweaking the Mi coefficient and the Mi eccentricity. But I'll just leave them as the default values. I'll add more blue to the Mi color to remove the yellow color of the sun. All right, hope this could give you a gist of how to control the look of the sun in the sky. For our game scene, I don't want the sun to be in the background because the main light is going to be coming from the front. So let's rotate the skylight to match the main light we are about to create. Let's create the main light. I'll duplicate the skylight and change its name. Then I'll change its sky mode to light only. Let's decrease its energy to 1 and enable the shadow. All right, let's rotate it to find the best angle for the shadow. We want to mimic the shadow in the morning, but we don't want the shadow to be too long. Let's add a little bit of yellow to the color to mimic the color of the sunlight. Now the scene looks low contrast. To fix it, select the World Environment node and switch the tone map from linear to ACES. Next, let's enable SSAO. This will give the objects some nice contact shadow. The SSAO is not noticeable with the default settings, so let's tweak the radius and intensity. I usually decrease the radius, but increase the intensity to 2. Next, let's enable SDFGI to use retracing to give the scene a more natural look. SDFGI will make the dark area look better, but it also consumes a significant amount of performance. So I'll leave that for you to decide whether or not to enable it. All right, one last thing. Let's do some color grading. Enable adjustments. And increase saturation to 1.2. This will make the color more vibrant. Then let's create a grading texture 1D for color correction. This gradient texture allows us to add color to the scene, 
based on the brightness. First, let's move the left bar to the right to emphasize the dark area of the scene. Then let's add a little bit of blue to it, so the dark area becomes bluish across the board. Next, let's add a little bit of yellow to the right bar, so the bright area of the scene all shifts to yellow. The blue in the dark area and the yellow in the bright area will create more contrast in the graphics. And this is a typical way to do color grading. We're almost done, but I don't like the dark background color below the horizon, so let's just rotate the sky a bit. Alright, until next time, keep learning, and bye-bye!